All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the meta human creator. I finally got the email letting me know that I finally have access to this meta human creator tool. So let's get started. To get to that tool, you'll have to go to Unreal Engine, uh, meta human creator, or you can go to bridge and click there as well by going right here and just click start MHC. But we're going to go from this main, main page here since it is a web app anyway. So let's launch the app and I should have access to it. Here we go. It's your turn. This will only take a minute. Please hold while we connect you to a human creator. We're setting up the session. Please do not refresh the page. Okay. So this is my first time logging in. And as far as I know, we only have an hour in here. Then it's going to kick us out, right? So this is kind of just like a preview. So what I'm going to do is just play around in there and see what they got. Because I have actually never been in this creator tool. I know I've been making videos about the pre-made ones. But this is the first time that I'm going to be in this uh, web app here. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're in here now. This looks kind of nice. Pretty simple UI here. Now oh, these are the pre-made ones. So I guess I have to pick a base. Okay, that's cool. So it looks the same. Many menus grooms currently in development. Only displayed little LOD zero on one. Okay, so they don't have the card version like I told you guys in my previous video. So let's see if I have any meta humans. I don't have any. No, actually I do. Yeah, I have a couple actually. I think I downloaded all 50 of them last night. So it's all in here. Now it is a little bit laggy here. So just to let you guys know there. What are these here? Okay, so it's telling me the uh, frame rate, the duration, the latency. So like I said, I have an hour in here. Let's take a look at this. All right, so I just put it in full screen. Okay, let's scroll down. I guess we can start with this guy. This guy looks really cool, man. I know I downloaded this guy already. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Okay, so I'm going to click next here. Oh, nice. All right, so here's the interface. We have some hotkey stuff right here. Focus point, right metal, button click. We got some lights in here that we can rotate. I'm holding L. Shift L. That's really helpful. If you want to see how it reacts in the shadow. Okay, can we turn this off? This one's kind of annoying. I'm going to pause this here so it's not just animating forever. Pan orbit. Pan. I'm just moving around here, guys. Just checking out my stuff before we start clicking things here. Toggle clay render. Okay, cool. Face camera one, two, they have some preset camera. That's nice. That's that's well done. So you can quickly switch around. All right. Okay. So let's take a, take a look at the top left. We have studio environment. Let's take a look at the outdoor. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I like to see that reflections on there outdoor wise. Um, I'm thinking this is by an HDRI of some sort. So here are the camera again. We have an LOD. LD0, 1, 2, obviously, like I said, hair is only available for 0 and 1 at the moment. It's still currently developing. And here is 7. So for you guys out there with an Intel GPU or mobile gaming, this is what you're probably going to see. So just keep that in mind. L5. You can try to go to LOD0 with your system, but... Just so you know that it's going to take some power, you know. Uh, tackle clay material. I already did that. Hide hair. You can hide the hair if you want to get some performance back. A little bit, I think. It helps. And then toggle the hot key, which we'll leave in there. That doesn't really bother me much. Okay. So let's take a look at the face here. Looks like blend. Double click that. Oh, okay. That's cool. So you can actually blend different characters to create a new face, similar to how I did it last year with an AI-generated picture, and I try to create my own character from that. So that's actually pretty cool. Stop the animation to enable. So I'm going to stop it here. And to enable blend mode in the viewport, drag three of the presets below in the slots. Okay, so this is cool. So let's let's try this. Let's do... this girl and no let's do like this guy 
I'm just me I'm just messing around here and pick this dude. Let's see what this will do. Okay, so I have some points in here. What the heck? Oh, that's wicked. Yo, that's weird. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Drag and drop preset slot with blend mode enable on the viewport toolbar. You can adjust region's influence on the facial features using slotted selections. Oh, what? Oh, that's cool. Yo, this is like Sims. But in the future. Like, this is legit. I am blending the different uh, different parts of this guy's body by, you know, blending these shapes here. What the heck? Eyebrows. This is so cool. So basically, you have this middle, right? And the way I'm looking at it is, I can be wrong, but the way I'm interpreting this is, this middle is the guy. If I click on this part and I move it up, it's going to start looking like this guy. If I move it to the left, it's going to start looking like this girl. And if I move it to the 4 o'clock position, it's going to start blending like this guy. That's super cool. How cool is that? That's, that's, that's awesome. I, I think I, that's how I'm interpreting this, guy. So you have the circles, you go up. It's going to take some of the features from the guy up there. That's cool. All right. That's awesome. So let's get out of blend mode. Because like I said, we only have an hour in here. So let's go to the skin. See what's the skin. Okay, so color. Got it. Color is nice. Same color as mine. The texture. What the? Yo. Hang on, how do you how do you pan again? Okay, so it's pretty much the same controls as Unreal Engine. Dragon three percent. Okay, so do I have? Yeah. Okay, so can I just there? Okay, so holy crap! It just opened up like a whole bunch of stuff over here. Let's go to preview for now because it looks like it can sculpt and move all these points as well. Hang on, I'm just playing around here. Uh, what the heck? Oh my god. Can you control Z? Is that a thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Uh, so this is the sculpting mode. The controls they're giving you to create your character here is insane. Um, so yeah, let's go to the skin again. So that was sculpting. And let's look at this texture again. They have like presets for the textures, it looks like. If you guys are wondering how you can get some decent looking CG humans, they have to have textures. They can't be smooth, you know? So, wow, this is cool. So they have some presets in there. And the roughness, it might, might be seeing the roughness in here. Let's change the texture to say this. Oh yeah, I'm seeing that, for real. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I can't see it because he has a beard, but maybe his forehead we can make a little bit red. <laughs> that's so cool. Let's reset. Now the freckles, really, in like for real CG. That's cool. Oh, there you go. So I have to actually click the bottom here. And that's going to add those freckles. That's so cool. Awesome. All right. So here's your skin accents. Let's look at the eyes. Okay. You got some presets in there. That looks freaking cool. You can change. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. Oh, my gosh, dude. There's so much customization in here. The sclera is the white of your eyeballs there. Change the vein rotation. Give it more 
vascularity in there. It's a big word. Then the iris, you can change around. Oh man, that's insane. And then if you want, you can just choose a preset here. All right, let's like still like a little teeth here. Oh my gosh, dude. There's so much. So much customization in here. This is okay. I'm gonna say this right now. I don't think this is gonna be free. There's no way. I. Uh, this is insane. If this is gonna be 100% free, there's gotta be some kind of subscription, to be honest. There, this is just insane. Just testing out some makeup stuff. Classic. Maybe he's like a rocker, you know, like Ozzy. Rock and roll. That was a terrible impersonation. All right, all right. Let's take a look at the head. I'm gonna zoom out here. All right, so let's take a look at the groom stuff. Well, this is hey. If you understand groom hair, you understand how difficult it is to make these. I'm gonna say this out right now. Hair groom is no joke this is something that i have a lot of respect for because creating these hair to look like this is no easy task and for you guys cg artists out there you know exactly what i'm talking about so look at this freaking hair dude ah oh. and they gave you a couple in there What's salt and pepper? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, dude. That is just insanity. I'm sorry, man, but... I don't know. This is blowing my mind. You gotta understand, I, I've been a gamer my whole life, and... This is nothing like a character creator I have ever used. In my 30 some years of playing games. Coming from like a Game Boy. To this. In a lifetime. It's just. Overwhelming. <sighs> Absolutely. Just. Ooh. Let's get some eyelashes in there. If you want to change the color as well. A salt and pepper setting. Got to choose one I guess. Go ahead and we can salt and pepper it. Oh, you can change the color as well. And then salt and pepper. That's cool. Now, obviously, I'm not trying to create a character right now, guys. I'm just playing around with this tool. All right, let's look at, look at the beard groom. Again, as far as I know, this is groom hair. Oh, wow. I am lagging in there a little bit, guys. You can see that. What does it say? Okay, so LOD1 and LOD0, okay. So you got a pencil thin here. Jeez. Alright, so I've been in there 15 minutes. So we better hurry it up. Mustache, same thing. This is also hair. And that's why they have that hair, hair, uh, hair option here. Because if you're having issues, just hide it, man. See if you can run that this a little bit better. All right, let's move down to type. All right, so you got a couple of options, some short ones. Does you just load up? Oh wow, okay. It's too average. I mean, I'm pretty tall, so you know. Choose this. It's cool. It adjusts it right away, and if I press one, it's gonna go to the face again. Tops. All right, let's go with clothes. I think this is probably where it's going to get really interesting because clothes. For you guys CG artists out there, if you can somehow manage 
to get your own clothes to work with these meta humans. Oh man, that's all I gotta say. Because obviously the problem with this is we're all gonna have this creator tool. We are we're all gonna have different characters as unique as we can do it, but the clothes we can't be wearing the same clothes. So like I said, I uploaded a video last month on how you can change the clothes kind of like a DIY way, which is painful to do. But if you can somehow make clothes for these meta human creators character, because I can guarantee you, I don't know how fast you're going to be able to make all and everything like right now, I'm looking for a samurai costume. You know what I mean? So it's it's just that kind of stuff. It's they're going to make a lot of clothes here. I have no doubt in my mind, but they're going to need help with getting those costumes, I think. So right now we have three pants, two tops, three pants and uh, four shoes. Okay, let's look at a full body here. All right, we got a export here. Oh, animation. Okay, face ROM. What is that? Press one. Press play. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So they they're giving you some some animations there to test out your character, just to see how it kind of reacts. Looking at some lights around. It looks like body technical ROM. Let's go to this. Some just animations for you guys to take a look at. <laughs> this is like Sims. That's a nice mocap there, if that is mocap. So as far as I know, this should show up in my bridge now. So if I go to bridge, meta humans. My meta humans right here. So we have this here. And yeah, if I double click this, I can actually download this and Bridge is going to do its thing. So the app, creator app is actually talking to Bridge. And as you can see right here, all changes are saved. And it's going to go straight to Bridge for you can download and export. And whenever it processes, it's going to take a minute. And then you can export it from here to your project. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the Meta Human Creator tool in a nutshell. Just a quick overview for you guys out there still waiting to get access. Um, you are going to get an email, by the way, whenever they give you access. So check your email if you still haven't received that. But this is some pretty exciting stuff. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go log out so somebody else can come in. So I'm not taking too much space because... I already made my video, so let's go ahead and exit out of this. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later. So you want to learn Unreal Engine 4, but majority of the videos out there are for video game creations. Maybe I can help with that. I just created a beginner's course on how to make a movie inside Unreal Engine 4. In an hour and 40 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to install Unreal Engine 4 to create your very first CG animation. Unreal Engine is the future, and this video is the perfect introduction to it.